Hello everyone from the FMS Science community. I'm Jeffrey Zhang, a PhD candidate from the University of Hong Kong. Hong Kong is a densely populated city with urban architecture since 1840s, with the strategic development from British colonial government to now under the sovereignty of China. The different urban planning styles have shaped Hong Kong to be special. Modern cyber cities and easily accessible transportation are commonly known as the advantages for living. While the street cleaning effect and the busy traffic give rise to the public health concern, the road air pollution problem. Since most of the Hong Kong layers are living at the residential buildings, let's come up with a question of whether living in higher we share the better air. Therefore, our team from Hong Kong U Urban Climate and Air Pollution Laboratory have used FMAP, the holistic computational fluid dynamics model, in simulating the three dimensional pollutant profile from Hong Kong, one of the busiest street cannon in Hong Kong. The model outputs will help to identify the pollution hotspot and to develop a real time forecast in roadside pollution to provide the alert for the potential pollutant exposure to the general public. The study had separated into two parts, the simulation of three-dimensional NOx in street cannon and the integration of CFD models with machine learning techniques. Our first part focuses on the impact of pollution profile with varying wind attributes and traffic flows. There were in total 48 combinations of model runs being simulated with FMAP, and the meteorological boundary conditions were referenced to one of the community weather stations under our weather observation network called TOWIN. Hourly traffic flow and vehicle's composition were important for the experiment, and the output had illustrated the accumulation of NOx is more significant and they can propagate higher with easterly wind. And we can also observe that the building height difference between windward and leeward side will amplify the street cannon air vortex effect and favors the pollutant accumulation in deep canyons. Besides, as pollutants can diffuse and penetrate into inner street corridors, it is remarkable that the downwind areas from primary roads, the two ways main road for traffic between the city centers, are the vulnerable locations for direct pollutant impact with wind tunnel effects. Computational fluid dynamics models offer us a high resolution spatial temporal understanding in pollution hotspots inside the street cannon, while the computational Resources and time consumption are always the research limitations and concerns. Therefore, we are giving a trial experiment to couple the FMAP simulation output and geospatial dataset with machine learning techniques to find out the coefficients and the statistical relationship between the urban geometry, meteorological contribution, and pollutant sources from anthropogenic activities. In the model, we incorporate with aspect ratio, stereo factor, wind effect, wind exploration index, and distance from primary roads for the support vector's regression. Support vector machines is a supervised machine learning technique based on the Python languages, and the approach helps to dynamically minimize the sum of errors and to find out the best combination of feature groups over the parameters. The model processing are divided into two stages, the regression to meteorology and to air pollution emissions. It is stimulating that the model has shown a good accuracy and consistency when compared with the original FMAP simulation runs. While we can also save up to 90% of the simulation time from the machine learned method. Before this experiment, the real-time forecast for three-dimensional pollutant profile on crowded roadside environment has never been achieved with meter-scale CFD models. While in aid of the development of the trained machine learning model, the real-time high-resolution pollution forecasts are becoming possible in the future.